All right, guys, these are not the videos I like to make because I don't like a lot of drama or altercation or anything, but I feel like this is something that needs to be said and people need to be aware of things like this. So as you guys know, I like to do wheelies around the city and stuff. I like to go downtown and do wheelies and stuff. And today I ran into a crazy situation. But before I show you guys what happened, I wanted to kind of tell you what kind of rider I am and what I do when I'm in these types of scenarios. So if it's a group of people or it's like a festival or any kind of event going on, I like to do wheelies around a lot of people, especially when they look like they want to see them. And my sole purpose is to entertain people, not to cause any problems or anything like that. I just want to entertain and have fun. And I usually kind of scope out the area and the police, the real police were actually there. So I kind of try to feed off them. If, if they give us the okay, then I'm like, okay, I'll just do it then. So we had the real police officers waving at us and stuff like that. And they pretty much gave us the okay. I won't do anything that I feel like I shouldn't do, especially when if it's in a negative way or I know I shouldn't be doing it, I kind of fill out the room or fill out the situation and make sure it's okay. So with that being said, the real police, the Denver police, they pretty much were okay with it and all the little kids and families and stuff, they were excited to see the wheelies. They're like, okay, I'll do some wheelies then. And that's when this other, I guess it's a private security company. I don't want to try to put the name out there or anything like that because I don't want people to lose their job, but I will show who it was and what happened just because it needs to be shown. And I don't think you should do anything like this under any circumstances, but he came out of nowhere, ran into the back of me, ran into actually hit my bike with the golf cart and tried to knock me off the bike. And I couldn't even believe it because I mean, we weren't doing anything crazy, and like I said, I'm just there solely to entertain. And I was actually on my trying to find my way out of there. But I'm the kind of person to take full accountability for my actions. So if I feel like I shouldn't have been doing it, I won't do it. That's why I said I feel out the situation. And when the real police pretty much said, hey, go ahead, then that's why I did it. And if I was in the wrong, I would definitely take accountability and stuff. But I just feel like this was... This was overkill and this should have never happened and I just wanted to show you guys what I kind of, I mean, I don't go through this on a regular basis, but this is the first time it's gotten extreme like this. I don't do anything illegal, I don't do anything crazy, and this is the first time this has ever happened, so let me show you guys what happened. I got that old camera, so if they come, I can show them. I don't care. All right. It looks like I'm up. As you see in the video, he literally turned and ran right into me. And that's got to be something serious because I've never seen nothing like that. And it was while I was doing a wheelie. I'm doing a wheelie, and he runs into me and hits me with the golf cart while I'm on the bike. And I'm just like, man, what if I'm riding and I don't have a helmet on? What if you break something on my bike? What if I fall off the bike and break something? Man, it's, when I think about what could have happened from him doing that, it's just it's crazy. Like I said, I don't really like to make these types of videos, but I think this is something that just went way too far and it needed to be said and now honestly I don't even feel comfortable riding my bike in the city no more when you got to deal with stuff like that I just got my bike and went home like I'm not even in the mood to ride no more and like I said my main goal is to entertain and I don't like to cause trouble 95% of the people love when I do wheelies and see us doing wheelies and stuff so it's just sad that riding a bike you got to go through stuff like that but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Hopefully this wasn't too negative, but I really wanted to just let you guys know what happened. And Man, it just makes me not even want to ride my bike no more, but got to bounce back and, and just keep going. But 
If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. We almost at 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys being here for this long and let's keep growing. But until next time, see you guys later.